Well, it's about time you came outside. It's nice out. You don't need to be inside. Who else we got outside? Ah, uh, I see Lily. She's over there by the milkweed. Yeah. Who else we got? We got the boy. Man, did that flood devastate you guys' yard. Look at that. That's good. That's less I got a mow. Yeah. Who else is up? Well, hello, Miss Milligan. Millie Milligan of Millersville. Miss Pelly Tilligan of Till Tillersville. You guys up romping around. Uh, well, I can't fit those two big old heads in one hand. Uh, puppies went to sleep after demanding breakfast. Your little rugrats. Okay, I see you too. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and we're out on the upper loft deck and to, today we're going to finish this thing. Well, I'm not going to say that. You didn't hear that from me. We're going to get as much done as we can. The weather is perfect. So what I want to do first is take off the satellite dish. Uh, Actually, no, I'm going to take off this top part of this rail because as you can see, it ended up being too short. I don't want that there. Even though it's going to have a top and sides, I don't want it like that. It's got a gap. And I did not pick up the one by fours that I need to go across that way. Them dudes were $7 a piece. They cost more than these treated two by sixes, which is ridiculous. And they didn't know why. So, obviously, I'll be probably going to Home Depot or something to pick those up because uh, they actually need to be, you can't get treated one by fours at my local place. Maybe you can get it there. I don't know. If not, they're going to have to be cedar. Maybe I'll rob some off my wall in there that I plan to take down anyway. So, we're going to get started on this. There should be a lot of content on this deck today. The fix that I did actually kept all that water out of there. Now, this is going to have a bench. I plan on putting another one on top of this to keep that down. But that worked, believe it or not. And I think I've come up with a better way to hang the, uh, the satellite dish. I'm going to build a little box that's going to attach right there. Just wide enough for that pole to go into. And if I can find the tools... Who's down there? Tilly. What are you doing? 3 a.m. Tilly. Outside. Wanting a treat. Ooh. Ooh. I ain't doing that. Ah, it's bad enough Rooster wakes me up every morning at 3 a.m. In that dead hour. Maybe that's when the ghosts come out here. I don't know. I don't care. I want to sleep. All right. Let's get going okay I have opted to go with the cheaper ace hardware brand because I'm going to tell you why I bought those Diablos last time everybody swears by junk junk so this is the only blade I got <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't have battery I gotta get a battery Oh, when's it gonna end? When's it gonna end? Alright, man, I'm gonna start hacking away with this. I'm gonna start with this one. Then this, these. 
I hope this blade's big enough. I only got one shot at her. Let's get you guys over here. You guys are never where you need to be. This could be a real butcher job. to keep it straight. Well, oh, good lord, how big is it? Oh, it's got screws in it. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'd say that's pretty good for doing it freehand without putting any markings or anything on it. Look how crooked that is, guys. That's what I'm talking about. That dude, I'm standing straight in front of it. Look how twisted this she is. We'll make it work. I did run some three-inch screws. I picked up some three-inch screws to go through there. I'll caulk in some of these gaps. I'll see if I can't get, but this has to be straight and level, and it is. Now I'm going to cut a new top uh, to come to here for the railing and then we'll uh well it's going to come all the way down the top will but we'll get that cut I took the top one off i gotta let the batteries charge what are you chickens doing something's in there i gotta go make sure there's no snake i got snake tongs now i can grab them real easy so we'll get this one cut i'll let the saw cool down a while then cut this one and we're gonna get busy all right, I got the dish off, and I got to get the platform off there. I temporarily moved it over here. That way, well, I can upload a video tonight if I don't get it all done. Because that's the last thing I'm going to be working on. That'll give me time to get something built over here for it. Because that ain't going to work. It may even work better on this side. I'll have to see. I'm going to run down there now and check. It hasn't moved yet, but it should have a clear shot. It's look, Yeah, I think it moved got a clear shot shouldn't be no obstructions we'll see now nah, i don't really want it over here we'll see how it works That certainly looks better doesn't it I just extended it all the way down uh, when it's all painted cocked that's gonna look all right you'll see but uh, now I just got wait till the battery charges a little looks to me like that rail is a little lower uh, because I had to add that board on the bottom so we're not gonna worry about that I'll uh, 
I may have to drop it down just a little because it's going to have a top on it. But that'll be a separate. We'll see how when we get to that point. I may just leave that part of that uh, post a little high so that it'll match up with the other one. And just cut one of these wears these 5 amp batteries down pretty good. So I'm waiting on batteries to charge. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me think on this a little bit. And... Uh, Tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm not doing anything here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a potted plant there. Big old pot with a plant. And I'm going to leave it just the way it is. That way you can still walk all the way up there. I'm not putting no kind of rail on there. Just a big old potted plant. i seen that on Wild Wonderful Off Grid. They ran into the same issue. That's what they did. If they can do it, they got over a gazillion subscribers by god i'll do it i'll just plant a big old milkweed i'll get a container i'll bring one of them containers up here plant a big old milkweed a jungle milkweed <laughs> i know i'm too much all right got them all packed off and now it's time to start putting the two by sixes on after that just a little bit of touch-up work and uh then we're going to work on the uh, Starlink dish thing and maybe start painting. And yeah, it would have probably been easier to paint these before, but it isn't going to be that hard. You'll see what I'm going to do when I'm done. All right, let's get going. I did lower that uh, railing so that now those two are even. So that'll all be good there. All righty then. Let's get some railings on. Let me show you how this is going to work guys the tops here just like that all right let's see uh, i'm up against the rail on what to do next <laughs> i don't know hello board Ah, now, normally what I would do here is 45 this one and 45 this one and join them that way. Which I could probably still do with my, uh, yeah, I can still do that with my circular saw. So we're going to do that. That gives it a nice smooth transition to each other. Uh, I did have to cut some more off this and lower this rail to get these level. Now they're both level. Don't know how that happened. But it did. I had the little blocks under there to keep it the same distance, but it didn't work out that way. But this is going to work. Oh, that's that's perfect. So I'm going to cut some 45s on this, and I'll show you what I mean when I get to that point. Just wait, man. Birds are out today. How high is the water, Daddy? Three feet high and rising. Okay, 45 it. Let's see. I had to go about that far, I'd say. Why? Went too too far back, man. That ain't gonna work either. Ah, oh, the blade's probably not set deep enough. Where is it? What on earth? It wasn't. Look, man. That was the problem. Alright, let's try that again. That was terrible. 
No, it wasn't. All right. We'll do the other side. Join them together in holy matrimony through sickness and rain, through termites and tornadoes. Will you take this board to be your lawfully wedded board? I do. I spit off the balcony. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's see. This one's going that way. Tweedledurr, Tweedledurr. Yes, sir. That is the male. This is the female. And what happens here? You get a nice, solid joint. It could be more. That first one was botched up a little. I got room to cut it again. So this one's good. I don't like this one. I'm going to recut this. We'll get a much better fit. Yeah, that's goofy. All right. Let's cut her again. That's the one I didn't have it. The blade all the way down. Get you know. on. Right, we got room. Hey now. That's much beautiful. It's much beautiful. That's a word. The problem is this. Dad burn it. That's alright, we got more room. That's the wrong side. I'm getting all confused on myself. No, you're not. That's what you need right there. I had to cut a bunch of this off anyway because it would have been too long. Hey, you, know, you guys are confusing me. Am I even in this thing? I'm down here cutting. You guys are gawking off over there. in there we can look at it see that's how you do a good joint for a railing 45 them put them together that's all you got did and this yeah that's where i need it that two by 12 is going to be notched around this you'll see man you got you just wait you'll see so we can go ahead and get this even screw it down and get that last piece on i think i got i might have an idea for that too. the rest of that or that rail is screwed down i put three inch screws in there at an angle that way it gets the full screw through the inch and a half two by four and the inch and a half top without going through the top and then there's no screw holes in the top at all to avoid getting moisture in there over time rotting that out all the screws came up through the bottom and uh, we're gonna get this one on and then cut that one end off once the other one's in place 
and we'll have our rails on. Look at this spider web with sawdust on it. That is the sawdust Alopodopagus spider. Yes, they prefer sawdust environments. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. That's all that matters. You're just going to have to take my word for it. All right, now you can see this joint. Yeah, buddy. Different. Once it's painted, you ain't going to see that. You ain't going to see it, man. The only thing that sucks is this. It's all dinged up here. I uh, messed up. And I'll sand that down and gob it up with paint. You won't know. All right, so now all the tops are on. This wall over here, I'll show you how bad out that pole was from this one. How bad it bowed out. Look at this, guys. <laughs> but uh, I got the camera back on. We'll, we'll make that look a little better. And it has this much overhang. I'm going to leave it. Because that's just, you know, kind of fills in that hole a little. Wow, that dude is so twisted. And we'll zip this one off even, but... I do got it square, that is for sure. So this rail and this white rail are square. This one, the other side of this board was terrible. And this is the cup side. And I did not want to have to put the cup side down. But that's how it worked out. It's kind of at a little angle. That's good. Water will run off of it. Uh, these were pretty good here. Uh, they only had four boards left. So I had to pick three out of the four and you know the bottom of the pile there's always stuff like that i should have just drove to fort smith and that way i would have got everything i needed a whole lot cheaper but i didn't do that all right so now i'm gonna that's kind of ugly i'll caulk that in once it's painted you won't see it uh normally i would cut those with a circular saw beforehand but since the rails were up that wasn't possible especially with the one i've got there Man, it'll, it'll work out, man. It's a patio. I'm not striving for Joe Carpenter Award here. I'm just getting it done. But man, and let me tell you, these are extremely strong. You can't, you can't shake these. I'm putting all my weight in it, man. They are strong. Nobody's falling off that. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready to. Oh <laughs> no, we got to get this dude on. Now, that's, I was originally wanting to go with a 2x10. They didn't have any, so I had to buy a 2x12, which is, yeah, it's pretty wide. So I may have to put some brackets coming up from here. In fact, I know I will have to to make it stable because that's, it's got a balance on that. Uh, I don't need to put anything underneath that. I'm just going to screw it into it. But that's going to help with the water getting in there. And I think the reason I had a few drips, it was about right here. Uh, when we had the rain is it's probably going down into there. I don't know but That should help it. So Well, next thing I really need to do is get my Starlink dish up and let me show you what I'm gonna do. I left this overhang here And I believe I'm gonna drill a two-inch hole here to drop that pole through and Then build a short box probably end it about here. So it has full length of that pipe so that would be a good idea. It won't look that bad once the dish is on it. We'll see. That will help stabilize it a lot if I drill a two-inch hole right through that. So this, that's if I can. That's if I. I gotta go in that shed, man. That's if I can find it. Two-inch bit, hole saw bit. Are you supervising me down there? Well, it's a nice day for a puppy dog to be outside. Yes, it is. Speaking of which, I better go check on Rooster. I'll be back. I got a present for you guys. Yeah, I was folding my laundry and noticed I had a t-shirt that had holes in it. Oh, if there's one thing a puppy dog likes, it's an old shirt. Look at it. Looks like it's candy. There's enough for everybody to get a corner. Everybody can get on the corner. We gotta kill it. We gotta kill it. You got my old underwear there. Oh, I know. That was a treat. She ain't had my t-shirt. We'll just pick the gum thing up and start playing with it. Tug of war. I give up on you. Go get in there, Clo uh, Oreo. Still
still calling you Chloe. I just change your name. Pick it up for goodness sake. What do they think it is? Puppies. Doody, 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 do. All right, guys. I'm gonna shimmy up this ladder. I hook my star link up. I should go through the hole in the tube, but I can't get the other end out of the house. Long story. Ain't getting into it. There we go. Oh, gotta do one of them backwards things. Yes, sir. Oh. Let's see, why ain't you going in? All right, <clears throat> Starlink is where it needs to be. I just loosened the straps. I'll show you in a minute how I got this up there. I'll lo I just loosened the straps and twisted the whole pole. Now that cord is supposed to, there's a hole in the bottom of that uh, pipe that's supposed to go inside there, but I could not get the, end, the other end out of the house because I got all my security wires through there and it has a great big plug on the end of it. So I'm just gonna zip tie that around the pole for now. Uh, when I get fiber, that's gonna go away. So, but it's boy, does it come in much faster now? I can't believe how that much. That's probably uh, seven, eight feet. I think the whole pole and everything is supposed to be ten feet. So it's probably a little more. And I had to take this panel back off to feed more wire through, and part of it was chewed up. I had to tape it. Couldn't find any electrical tape, so I can put that back on real easy. I'm just gonna leave it off till I get this uh, cable where it needs to be. Well, that took a little more time time than I wanted to, and let me show you on this side. I just took some plumber strap and I put a board on there, and then I'm going to fabricate this box to go around all of that to hide that, but this one don't fit. Uh, I'm gonna probably just do it all out of this, and I'm gonna move on today. That's taking up too much of my time. This thing is strong as can be. It ain't going nowhere. Although I think in a storm, it's going to sway a little bit. Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. We'll see how it does. And I just drilled a hole through that. I, I could not find the hole saw, so I did that with a jigsaw. <laughs> I'll find some kind of scutcheon or whatever to go through that later. So... After one heck of a mess up here, all that's left to do is put this piece on. So let me see if I can get to that. This ought to be fun. Uh, Cupside down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Something like that. Oh, yeah, it's gonna make a nice top. Alright, now I gotta notch that out. I'm gonna make sure I'm long enough. Perfect. 
Yeah, I'll probably have to notch. I'm going to notch this out to where this goes all the way back to the wall. I did cut that flashing out, but I left enough. Then I think I'm going to have to put brackets here to keep this this way. You know, from it's a little bigger than I wanted. I wanted a 2x10. Again, they didn't have any, so we're going with a 2x12. Now that I look at it, I think I'm, I'm glad I went with a 2x12. So let me get this notched out and then get it back up where it needs to be and then we'll make the braces and get this set. I sure don't want this falling down there. Let me ninny, ninny packle it up there. That's a word I just made up. I like it. Ninny packle. Oh, yep. ah. <laughs> it ain't looking good. It ain't looking good. Get on in there. <laughs> I see. I see, said the blind man. To the deaf man. Ah, what was that? Wasp. Probably gonna have to raise this top up. Ants. What are you little hoobanobbers doing over there? I gotta loosen this up so I can slide it under. Oh my god, what did I do? Spill coffee. Whole cup of coffee. It's not that tight. <clears throat> okay. Listen, bud. Okay, guys. Got the bar top on. Now, ain't that cool? Now you can smell what I've been dealing. And uh, right here, that gap that I had to notch this in, that ain't going to matter because this part here, I'm going to make a planter box out of. And put, some, put some herbs or something in there. So, because you can't get to that anyway if you're sitting. So, I've got this. Uh, where'd my level go? This sits pretty level here. Can't get any better than that. And then I have it at a slight pitch that way so that the water, well, this level, where's my other one? So that when the water won't set on it, any kind of windowsill or something like that, if it was, you know, it's just a slight pitch that way. So the water won't stand on it. About an eighth of an inch. But you can't tell to the naked eye and when you sit here i'll get some outdoor bar stools that is perfect bar height right there so 
you not only have your tables I could probably get more chairs and benches here but you got you can fit four bar stools there have a nice view of the dogs pooping all right I got you know, how stupid are parents to let their kids that age look here's what happens guys look at the traffic comes to a standstill because all these kids don't have any supervision got their dogs all loose you know I know when I'm driving if I see a kid on the highway I'm slowing way down but they don't care they're gonna cause an accident one day and I'm gonna hate to see it and there's a dog I've never seen uh, never ends around here all right so I'm gonna stop and clean up we got that on there I gotta tighten that back up uh, got the Starlink up Oh man, is that much faster. I think I said that in the last clip. I wouldn't say much, but it's way over 120 a, sec a minute or bill of bits or whatever you call it. All right, so I, I've got all this stuff in my way. I'm gonna start getting this cleaned up, get it ready to paint tomorrow, finish up some of this stuff. And what I'm doing is I'm painting the rails down here black. And all the tops are gonna be the tan color. This will be tan, this will be tan, just like I got done up front and uh also the cross bar uh boards when i get those those will be tan so it's gonna look good all right guys i appreciate you watching uh we're getting real close on this tomorrow I'll paint if it don't rain and uh that's about it then then we can click this off the list check it off the list all right guys thanks for watching happy trails